Shalom. Call Halal Yahawa Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, I'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you be you be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Um, this lesson today. Um, it's going to be going into the camaraderie that we have in our Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, the camaraderie, all right, of the Akim, the brothers, you know, and the sisters that believe on our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that believe in this truth. Okay. So, once again, so basically the title for this lesson is Camaraderie, okay? I love the camaraderie of, of the Akiam, the brothers, you know, the time we spend together, you know, the things that we do for one another in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to, 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 to look after one another, to be uh, each brother's keeper, man, because we are, we are our brother's keeper, Okay? All right. So um, with that, um, I jot down some scriptures, and um, I got uh, some definitions here I want to go into real quick. But I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start right there in the book of Hebrews. Okay, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen, and verse one. It says, "Let brotherly love continue." Okay, let brotherly love continue okay so this is what that's what we have to do let brotherly love continue man continue all right you got to keep going keep pushing keep fighting keep looking after one another you know we all we all suffering together you know we all want to be delivered out of this place or, or out of this hell or, or, or out of this polluted land okay all right but we're doing it together we have one mind, one body, one house. Okay? Right? We are all different individuals, but we have one mind. We have the mind of a Mashiach. Okay? These are, are, are they will, will, will follow the Lamb with us wherever he goeth. Right? My brothers, man, the Akiam. I got love for my brothers, man. And I know my brothers got love for me. You know? So that, that camaraderie, man, the time that we spend together, the time that we share together, you know, the things that we do in love, you know, looking after one another, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the camaraderie, you know, this is what I'm speaking about, man. We got to let that continue, let that brotherly love, that charity, you know, let it, let it, let it continue to go forward in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, you know. Um, let's get, uh, let's get this in the, um, online etymology. This, it says camaraderie, right? It says companionship, good fellowship, you know, and that's, that's something we do, you know? like twice a week and as much as we can as often as as we can you know fellowship through the week camp uh uh, uh, uh one day a week you know brothers other other but you know some brothers go up more as, as often as they can you know you know so you know we try to fellowship as much as possible you know as as a group as as you know as a group brothers try to do it at least twice a week but individual brothers like two and two three and three 
four and four, you know? Sometimes you got the, the large group uh, fellowshipping. Other times you got, you know, two brothers here, three brothers there. But as, as much as possible, brothers want to be around like-minded brothers. You know, the scripture speaks about that, man. The scripture speaks about look for the same uh, 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 as thyself, right? Let me see if I could grab that real quick through the spirit. You know, because scripture speak about, I think, is uh, second Ezra. If my mind <sighs> serve me right, right now, I think it's second Ezra, the eighth chapter, around about the 51st verse. Right, it says, second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 51, it says, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee okay you want to be around like-minded brothers man that's why i'm talking about the brotherhood the camaraderie that we have man people envy that because they see we we love one another okay it says but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such be as like thee right for unto you is paradise open right the lord called he called, he, he chose, he chose us, man. He chose his people, you know, right? The Lord opened up, he, he opened up our eyes to this knowledge. And humbly speaking, I don't want to write this out, you know, Lord willing, I'm a part of that precious number, you know, humbly speaking, you know, it says, for, for unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared, meaning the kingdom. Plenteousness is made ready. A city is built it. And rest is allowed because we don't get no rest here. We have to work hard and slave in this place. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. Okay? So, yeah, man, going back, uh, going back to the definition of com camaraderie, you know, but the point is to seek out uh, like minded brothers as yourself, man. You know, brothers in this truth. It says camaraderie, companionship, good fellowship. Okay? Good fellowship, man. A comrade. All right? And you have comrade, one who shares, one who shares the same room. Right? Yeah, we in the same house. Okay? We in, we in the same house. The house of David, man. We building in the spirit. We building that spiritual ark. Okay? A close companionship. Right? The brothers, man. Right? Comrade. Chambermate. Yeah. Okay, we 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 building that spiritual house, man, the house of David, you know. Lord willing, we be those men, so we you know we, we get the kingdom, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay. Then you have another one here. It, it's spelled different. It's a uh, com camaraderie again. So you have camaraderie, camaraderie, which spells C O M R A D E R Y, and you have another one which spells. After the R is I E C O M R A D E R I E. So it's spelled two different ways. This camaraderie is the one with the Y. It says state of feeling of a comrade. Okay. Right? Comradeship. Right? Basically the Akiya man, the brothers man, that that's showing that 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 love to one another, that fervent love and charity. You know? Showing that, that charity, man, towards one another. You know, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? So that's that's what it, what it is, man. That agave love. That's another word I get I want to bring out. I heard uh the elder the elder brother uh uh the brother from the Dallas camp, um uh, um uh El Elder Ariala. Elder Ariala. Yeah, Elder Ali, uh, Ari Ali brought this 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 word of agave, man. Agape, Salakia. Agape. Let me see if I could pull it up. This word agape. Some people say agap, but the word is pronounced agape. It says in Christianity, which we're not in Christianity, but just lose using the word right here. It's, it's agape. It says from ancient Greek is unconditional love the highest form of love charity and the love of the most high for man and of man for the most high this is in contrast to philia brotherly love 
Okay, brotherly love, right? It says, Felucia, self-love as it embraces a universal, unconditional love that transcends and persists regardless of circumstance. So regardless of our circumstance, we should we have love for one another, right? Because we're in one mind, the mind of our Lord, yeah, 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 uh, uh, Hamashiach, man, Yahweh Hamashiach. Okay, we are our brother's keeper, all right? The brother, the, the Akiyam, you know? It says, um, regardless of circumstance, uh, it comes out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith, unf unfeigned. It goes beyond just the emotions to the extent of seeking the best of, for others. The verb goes far back as Homer translated literally as affection. Okay, affection for one another, man, as in great with affection and show affection for the dead, either ancient authors, some part of this, authors have used forms of the word to donate love of spouse or family or affection for a particular activity in contrast to eros, an affection of sexual nature. Yeah, well, this, this part of it is going into something else, but you get, you get the point, you know, it's, it's you know, the, the agape, agape love, man, you know, showing the highest form of love, of charity, and, and, and the love for the most high, and for the most high for man, of the most high, you know, brotherly love, all right, so you get an idea of this, 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 this word agape, man, but yeah, so I'm using this word agape, you know, to um, describe, you know, the Akim, the Akia man, you know, who have the highest, the highest um, form of charity and, and, and love toward the Most High and toward the brotherhood, you know, that, that affection, man, you know, charity, you remember charity, uh, charity, take away a multitude of sins man so we have to always remember charity now i got some scriptures here i'm gonna start bringing the scriptures them out okay so this camaraderie what we have we gotta thank the lord man for, for taking us out of darkness and bringing us into his marvelous light okay first peter's chapter 2 and verse 9 okay uh this let's go to the book of uh real quick if I could bring some of these scriptures out, let's go to the book of uh, First John. First John chapter. Uh, I think I didn't. I thought I wrote. I thought I wrote down that chapter, but you know what? Let me see if I can get it real quick. Let me see if I can get it real quick. It's like you buried me. I have the rest of the scriptures them here, but one I didn't write down. I want to see if I could get it real quick. Okay, it's First John, First John chapter four and verse eleven. It says, "Beloved, if the Most High so loved us, we ought also to love one another." Okay, yeah, we 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 ought to love one another, man. That's 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 it. We ought we ought to love one another. Okay. Next scripture we're gonna to go to. Is Saint John, Saint John, the thirteenth chapter and the thirty-fifth verse. It says, "By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one to another." Okay, you see that? The Lord said we have to love one another, man. That's how men are gonna know that we are His disciples. We are His people. You know, that's for all the believers, those that believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, from there. We're going to go to the book of Galatians. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. So, you know, when you, even when serving one another, you got to do it with love, man. You're doing it with love in your heart. Okay? That's what it is. You're doing, you're doing it with love in your heart, man. Okay? That love for, for one another, man. That, that camaraderie, man. It's beautiful. It's Yapa. You know? It's Yapa. This is um, Romans chapter 12 and verse 10. It says, Be kindly affectionate. We just 
that word affection came up in that and, and one of the synonyms uh, for, for that word agape man affection okay be kindly affection affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another okay that, that word brotherly love came up again be kindly affectioned affectioned with ed on the end affectioned one to another with brotherly love in honor preferring one another okay preferring one another okay so you see that it's beautiful man it's beautiful okay let's go to first thessalonians first thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 9 it says but as touching brotherly love ye need not that i write unto you for ye yourselves are to are taught of the most high to love one another okay so you know this is this is it man we know we have to love one another man we got to show that and and and, and indeed not in just word and indeed man okay we got to do it indeed right you know hebrews chapter 13 and, and verse 1 says let brother brotherly love continue man you know let brotherly love continue. Um, I'm going to get two more. Let's get uh, Hebrews. Go to the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews. The 10th chapter. I get the 24th verse. And it reads, And let us consider one to another like here, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to and to good works and to good works we got to keep it going man let the, let brotherly love continue man the camaraderie is beautiful man it's yapa you know it's yapa i'm gonna get one more and i'm gonna close out this is the book of romans chapter 13 romans chapter 13 and verse 8 it says oh no man anything but love but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Okay? For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Okay? So, yeah, man. I got a lot of love for for, 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 for the Akia, man. The, our, our camaraderie is beautiful through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the, and the world envy that. You know? So, hey, let's better, let's better, let's keep pushing, fighting keep fighting the good fight of faith you know keep charity going keep loving one another and, and being and being our brother's keeper man so hey with that hopefully you were edified on to the next one shalom